Well, hi everybody. Thanks for watching today. Uh, Bob and Benji here from Demco. I want to talk about an important operation on the farm, and that is spraying. Um, you know, there's many things that you have to do, but spraying is one of those things that you have to do it effectively. You have to do it cost effectively as well. And that's where we want to talk about the Demco 50 series sprayer. So this sprayer here is 1,250 gallons. We call it our 1,250 sprayer. So we know that one of the options you have is to go to a self-propelled sprayer, and there are some unique features to that type of a sprayer. This sprayer here, though, as we talk about cost effectiveness, you're going to be able to do the job really well effectively at a fraction of the cost of a self-propelled sprayer. The other part is maintenance. You know, maintenance cost of a sprayer like this is also a fraction of a self-propelled sprayer. With this capacity of 1,250 gallons, you're going to have as much capacity, if not more capacity, than most of the self-propelled sprayers out there. So we're going to talk about some of the things that make this sprayer a really good fit for your farm and why it can get the job done and do it really well, starting with the trailer design, why it is designed the way it is. Good morning, folks. My name is Bob, as Benji said. Um, some of the features that we put into this trailer, um, one of them is, is the hitch. We use a cast hitch on here. It can either run as a clevis hitch or you can flip it over and run it on as a hammer strap. Uh, the other nice feature about this trailer is we've got 30 inches of ground clearance underneath it. Uh, got the adjustable jack on here. Uh, our control center, as you can see, is immediately located on the side here. Everything is well marked out. On what each valve does and how you can set them. Um, it's got the bottom fill for the big tank as well as our uh, clean water tank in the back. Um, the unit has a very nice uh, featured ladder on it that goes down um, for getting up to reaching inside your tank if you need to get inside the tank. Um, it's also equipped with a two and a half gallon rinse tank washing your hands um, if you've gotten chemical or whatever spilled on them. Uh, the axle configuration on here, um, it's got a 90 inch to 144 inch spacing on it with infinite settings. Uh, it's a matter of loosening a couple bolts and each wheel can be slid out. This particular unit is equipped with the 320 by 46 inch tires. Uh, some of our smaller units, um, you're able to put a 38 inch uh, wheel on it. Benji, I'll let you talk about the tanks. Yeah, so the tank is pretty unique. We were really the first of our kind to come with a specially designed tank, not what you call an off-the-shelf tank. So this tank is designed specially to not only do some, some things that provide some benefit to your spraying operation in terms of mixing your chemical, agitating your chemical, but also we made it compact so we could have a short trailer. So this trailer, uh, with the tank being able to fit in it the way it is, it's from the, the axle here to the hitch pin, it's just 144 inches, which means if you're on a side hill spring, uh, it's going to stay in the row. It won't dog track. Also, if you have some contour, it's going to follow your tractor, which reduces the, the crop damage. Um, and then we, we made it really compact. So again, with the way the tank fits in, there's nothing that sticks out underneath here. So you've got a full 30 inches of clearance between the ground and the bottom of the sprayer. Now the tank itself, essentially, it's designed to flow down here into a sump. So down here, where we can't see it where the frame is, but it comes all the way down here. And what that sump does is it provides you the ability to clean your product out really nicely. Uh, today spraying, now we, we don't rely just on Roundup. We spray several different products, so the ability to clean it out prevent crop damage from other chemicals. That's really important. So by even coming down into a sump, we can clean it out really good. The other thing is the agitation is down in here as well. So with the tank sloping from the rear down to the front and into the deep sump, the agitation's down there. It keeps your product agitated and mixed up really well. So as you're spraying, it comes out the bottom through your pump back to the boom keeps all the product agitated really well with this deep sump. And then the other thing that it does is if you need to not only clean it out, uh, 
but if you need to completely drain it out, the way it comes down into the bottom, there's not much uh, that's left when you get to the bottom. But it also holds the chemical in there, so if you're getting low on product, but you're operating, say, in hills or some uneven ground, you can get low on product and still be able to keep spraying because the bottom of this tank is not flat. So it, it drains down to that sump. So that's a really big feature on this tank, you know, agitation, clean out, keeping the trailer short for maneuverability in the field, uh, stability, and excellent clearance here with the frame are all things that this design does, provides for you for your spraying operation. So as we move over this way, we're going to talk about our boom here. This particular boom is actually a 90 footer, and Bob is going to tell us a little more about what's unique to our sprayer boom. Okay, our, uh, this, like Ben just said, this sprayer is a 90 footer. Uh, we also offer a 60. Um, we actually call this a 80-90 uh, boom. Uh, the end of five feet is very easily removed and can be made into an 80 foot boom for those guys that want an 80 foot instead of a 90 footer out there. Um, all of our booms come with a handheld controlled pendant for the tractor operator uh, for convenience of doing all the functions of the boom. Um, there's just one set of remote outlets needed on the tractor um, with the electric over hydraulic system on this boom. Uh, the boom is also equipped with um, an accumulator on there which turns your uh, height adjust uh, cylinders into a shock absorber system for this boom. So you'll find this to be one of the nicest riding booms in the field. Um, it's a very durable boom. Another feature we have on here is we have two cylinders um, here in this area. So the one cylinder is for folding the boom in and out. The other cylinder is for that uh, old crap moment when you just ran the boom into the fence and it doesn't bend the boom up, it breaks the boom away for you. Um, another uh, feature that we have on this boom is we put the shocks uh, with the springs in it in there. Again, keeping a boom when it gets out to 90 feet from doing a lot of rocking back and forth so you get a very nice uh, spray pattern. Um, the booms all come with line filters, so you're able to do away with having to put a screen at every tip by just having a filter in each one of your feeder lines. This particular boom is equipped with our um, triple nozzle bodies on it. Um, it's also available with the singles. Uh, the position they're in right now, they're turned off, but it's a matter of if you want to have three different sets of tips out here, a five gallon or a 10 gallon, 15 or 20 gallon, uh, you just got to come back and rotate it to the tip that you'd like to have on it. Um, the boom is equipped with all three quarter inch plumbing, so if you have those areas where you do need to do some high volume spraying, uh, the boom is also capable of handling high, uh, high volume spraying. It's equipped with five ball valves up there for the boom sections, so you can uh, conveniently shut different sections of the boom off. Um, it's also um, got the capability, the sprayer does, if you've got auto rate control, um, auto boom shut off, very nice feature to have those extra valves. Thank Bob. you for watching our video today. And Benji, do you have anything to Yeah, add Bob, when did we this? start building this sprayer? How long have we had it? We came out in 2008 with this model. So, so 2008, and that's what we talked about at Demco. One of our models is doing our best to provide you the best. Well, this sprayer is a proven design. You know, 2008, that's 12 years. We've had many of these in the field. It's a sprayer that's proven to get the job done for spraying. So as we talked about that, you can see all the features that we've added to this sprayer, all with the goal of giving you a sprayer that performs at a price that's effective for your spraying operation. So yeah, thanks for watching. Check us out more at our website, which is demco-products.com.